joining us tonight, I'm Allison Lattis. And I'm Scott Wickersham. You might not know it, but you could be riding on one of the most dangerous roads in the country. Just this week, three crashes happened in a matter of hours on the same stretch of Independence Boulevard. Now, a new study says that stretch is one of the worst you'll find across the country. Channel 9's Gina Esposito covered all three of those crashes in our traffic center. And now she's live between there, Briar Creek and the East and Eastway after speaking with people who have seen how dangerous it can be firsthand. You know, traffic is pretty light tonight because people are out of their normal routines because of the holidays. But a new study shows this intersection right here, Independence Boulevard of Briar Creek, is one you'd want to avoid. I get two or three accidents out of here every day. It's, 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 it's terrifying coming out that way. Kenneth Hampton is talking about this stretch of Independence Boulevard between Briar Creek Road and Eastway Drive. A new report by Go Safe Labs just ranked Briar Creek the ninth most dangerous intersection in the country for holiday travel. Oh, in the whole country? Yeah. Well, maybe it's time to find an alternate route. <laughs> An alternate route was definitely needed on Monday morning. We had three wrecks in a matter of hours. First, police say a car hydroplaned and crashed into a power pole on the exit ramp of Eastway Drive. Then this car overturned under the bridge. And later that morning, another car flipped on the ramp. The good news, most of the drivers walked away with minor injuries. GoSafe Labs only looked at traffic data in Decembers of 2016, 2017, and 2018. I went back and looked at NCDOT crash data from 2014 to 2018. I found 377 wrecks on Independence between Briar Creek Road and Eastway Drive. When you compare that to Briar Creek Road to Pecan Avenue, only 134 accidents are reported. Traffic T9's Mark Taylor explains the increase. That's just where a lot of folks are merging in from Briar Creek, from Eastway Drive. So you've got all of the congestion, everybody trying to get to one spot and it creates this long backup and that's where people tend to crash. Now Go Safe Labs is a nonprofit that uses traffic data to make roads safer. I asked the company and CDOT if there's anything they can do to improve this area. Go Safe Labs tells me they have expanded their preliminary research to connect with the city of Charlotte's Vision Zero. Back to you. All right, Gina, thank you. Now Atlanta did top the list. The I-20, I-75, I-85 interchange, which is a mess on a good day, was ranked the most dangerous, specifically during the holidays. If you want to find out more about this study and other roads they have concern over, we have a link on our WSOC app.